Yeah, welcome back. The continuation of the problem it was stopped in the last class. I think uh, this moment distribution table was completed. The moments, end moments, final end moments. A B five B A nine point seven nine point nine seven and B C minus nine point nine seven C B twelve point seven eight and five point seven two this end moments are obtained. Now to draw Video moment diagram. This is the frame. This is A. Now, this is A, this is B, C, D, and E is the frame. End moments are calculated. Now, this. is loaded with only 5 kilo newton meter portion B C therefore only simple bending moment is for this WL squared by 8 and that will be intensity 5 kN span is 6 that means 5 into 6 squared by 8 that will come to 20 5 into 6 squared 5 into 5 into 6 squared divided by 8 it will be 22.5 is only the simple bending moment diagram for the whole frame. Now to draw or to superimpose the bending moment diagram due to end moments at A m a b we have plus 5 that means here it will be like this and m b a is minus 9.7 that means here that 
9.97 if you join that this is plus this is minus now coming to member cd m cd it is minus 5.72 m cd minus 5.72 And here it is injured, it is zero. Therefore, here five point seven two. Join that to the pre this point zero moment that is due to this body moment diagram due to end moments for this columns or vertical members. Coming to here BC, we have MBC minus 9.7, that means minus means it will go up, then MCB, MCB, it is plus 12.78, That is EO. Join it twelve point seven eight, and this is nine point nine seven, and again MCE MCE we have minus seven point zero six. That means here, somewhere, okay, here, 7.06, and lastly, it will be 0 here, therefore, Pretty moment diagram. Okay. Now this is negative, the net after superimposing. This is left with positive. After superimposing, this is negative after superimposing. Now to draw elastic curve, you want it is Hugging and here it is sagging, fixed end, A is fixed end, therefore it is sagging. Hold it uh, hugging, this is sagging, hugging, hugging, sagging. Hugging and here it is complete hugging.
that is the elastic curve. It is not asked. Only Bedi moment diagram is asked. Therefore, this will be the Bedi moment diagram. We will go to the next problem. To analyze the frame shown in figure by moment distribution method and dry FFT and BMD. As usual, here it is member AB, assume it as fixed, subjected to UDL of magnitude 20, the span is 5 meter and this vertical member there is no loading. This is BD. This is BA. And lastly, this member. Overhanging portion 50 kilonewton. It is 1 meter. This is B and C. Now here, MFAB will be minus W L square divided by 12 that is minus 41.67 and MF BA will be plus 41.67 kilo newton meter. Now here MF BD MF DB will be zero because no loading. Here it is overhanging portion hugging 50 into 1 that is minus 50 kilo newton meter that is the fixed end moments that is shown here by assuming AB and B day as fixed beams. Then we will go to distribution factor. It is only one joint here B. For B connected members are BA to the left side, BD to the right side, uh, sorry, downside, and BC. Okay. It is BC and BD to the downside. BC is the overhanging portion. Now BA here. Yeah. BA stiffness far end or edge end is fixed. Therefore it is 4 EI by L and BC is the overhanging portion. Therefore, stiffness is zero. Coming to BD, again, edge end D is fixed. Therefore, it is 4 EI by L. The sum that is total, it is 2.6 EI. 2.6 EI and distribution factor it is this divided by this will be 0.62 and for this it is 0 because overhanging portion and for this it is 0.38 that is shown in this table that is 0.62 for BA 0 for BC for hanging portion and 0.38 is for the member BD. Now coming to the moment distribution.
ear balancing is not sorry balancing or final end movements not required now it is moment distribution table no joint member df and fems we take joint a it is only one member that is ab coming to joint b at joint b ba bc and bd ba bc and bd and at joint d it is only db distribution factors ab fix it in leave it 0.62 for ba that is for ba 0.62 and for bc 0 and for bd 0.38 and db it will not be there fm fixed end moments ab mfab minus 41.67 minus 41.67 ba plus 41.67 bc because of overhanging minus 50 bd 0 db 0 because no loading now if you do balancing a balancing should not be done and at joint b balancing should be done no unbalanced moment of this that is 41.67 minus 50 it is 8.33 that is minus 8.33 is the unbalanced moment therefore plus 8.33 is the balanced moment now this 8.33 should be distributed to the members at b in this distribution factor a proportion that means 8.33 into 0.62 it is 5.22 and here it is 0 and 8.33 into 0.38 it is 3.17 now carry over ba 
moment should be carried over to AB because A is fixed end that is plus 2.6 by 50 percent. This node 0 and this BD. BD moment should be carried over to DB that is 1.6. Now, final end moments. It is minus 41.67 plus 2.6. It will be minus 39.07. And this 41.67 plus 5.22, it will be 46.69. And this will be 0, oh sorry, minus 50. And this is 3.13, sorry, 3.17. And this will be 1.6. Now these are the final end moments. Now with this, we can draw shear force diagram and bed moment diagram. To draw any moment diagram, and this table is shown here end moments, final moments, the same table is presented in PPT format also. Now, to draw any moment diagram, here the frame is. This here AB portion is subjected to UDL. Therefore, it is a parabola. With intensity or mag sorry magnitude wl squared by 8 for udl it is 20 intensity 20 into l is 5 squared divided by 8 25 into 20 divided by 8 it is 62.5 now due to end moments it is minus 39.7 some area and here it is 50 That is 46, 39, 46, 46 and this is 46.87, this is 39.07 and 50, it will go like this, straight line. That is 50 and this will be 3.13 and this will be 1.6. This is the Benny moment diagram. Now to draw shear force diagram. A, B, here it is R A, here it is R B, 1. And due to this overhanging, 
50 is the external load for equilibrium this rb2 will be definitely 50 and this is udl 20 the length is 5 meter and this is the vertical member rb3 and rb4 this is due to external loading coming to the end moments at a mab is minus 39 that is anti clockwise moment 39.07 MBA 46.87 clockwise and here it is 50 minus anti clockwise and here it is 3.13 clockwise and here 1.6 again clockwise that is by applying sigma fy is equal to 0 and sigma m a is equal to 0 by considering the moments also you can get r a again you can get r b 1 and RA and RB can calculate here also by applying sigma fx equals 0 and sigma m b d m b is equal to 0 we can get rb3 and rb4 you can calculate and hence you can draw shear force diagram now that is shown here in this slide it is bending moment diagram and the shear force diagram for the member horizontal member a b and BC is the overhanging. This is for the vertical member. It is also called transverse shear force diagram. Now that is about some frames without sway or non-sway frames. Coming to the Analysis of the sway frames. Now, sway frames are analyzed in moment distribution method consisting of two analysis first one non sway analysis and second one sway analysis
That means two analysis are two steps. Final moments will be non sway moment plus a C into sway moment. We'll come to that. What is the C now? That means diagrammatically if you have a frame with sway a load P A B now this has a sway that is delta this is sway this will be due to non sway moment Assuming that that sway can be resisted by applying some force in the form of hinge. It has hold like this reaction so that there is no sway. This moment you analyze that non sway moment using as usual this. what we have analyzed. Now, plus, because this is the force which is applied to keep the frame in its original position, actually it is not there. Therefore, that effect should be neutralized by applying it in the opposite direction and it should be analyzed. That is, sway moment is calculated using this. Totally, this has two steps sway analysis and non sway analysis. We'll, pre, we'll see one problem on this. Analyze the frame shown here if it is loaded with unsymmetrical loading that is 1 meter 4 meter this is say 5 meter now here geometry it is symmetrical cross section is symmetrical i is same no settlement uneven settlement but only this eccentric loading is causing the frame to sway. Now, this should be equal to sixteen kilo newton, same thing, one meter and four meter. This should be assumed 
any hinge therefore a reaction is developed to hold this sway in its position that is this is non sway plus this is not existing we have applied therefore that effect should be removed that is by equivalent force that is sway now for this if you analyze it is the same procedure as usual calculating the fixed end moments that is ab ab bc and cd this is loaded with a point load 14 mf bc will be equal to this is 16 that is minus 16 into 1 into 4 square divided by l square that is 5 square it is Minus ten point two four and MF CB will be plus ten point two four kilo newton meter. Now MF AB will be equal to. MFBA will be equal to MFCD will be equal to MFDC will be equal to zero because no loading. Coming back to here, there is some mistake here. MFCB. Will be plus sixteen into one squared into four divided by five squared a b squared here a b squared here a squared b that is plus two point five six that is f m and if you consider distribution factor it is as usual joint b has two members ba and bc joint c has two two members cb and cd coming to stiffness factor that is k BA adjacent is fixed the for 4 EI by L BC it is an intermediate member the for 4 EI by L CB sorry CD okay CB intermediate the for 4 EI by L CD adjacent that is D is fixed the for 4 ei by l using respective else 
you can get sigma k at joint B and joint C we get 1.6 EI and here also 1.6 EI. Now therefore distribution factor for the member BA will be this 4 EI by L coming to the distribution factor distribution factor for BA will be this divided by 1.6 it will be 0.5 and for BC this divided by 1.6 it will be 0.5 and this divided by this everything is 0.5 because of symmetry ok distribution factors now we can go for moment distribution table As usual, that is joint member FEM etc. And you can draw free body diagram, and from that we can calculate that reactions, reaction here. Uh, this reaction we can calculate by considering the free body diagram of this. That reaction is used here. This reaction we will find after analyzing the end moment. We will make use here. And again assuming fixed, uh, all the ends are fixed, we will calculate the fixed end moments due to loading and because of this redundant sorry because of this this force there may be deviation in the delta Therefore, only for AB and BC, there will be end moments, fixed end moments because of delta, that is 6 EI by delta. And again, moment distribution table is used and it is analyzed by balancing and carry over. And the moments, end moments due to this will be due to non-sway analysis and due to sway analysis we will conclude it to the final end moments once final end moments are established you can draw any moment diagram by superimposing the bedding moment diagram due to end moments over the bending moment diagram due to external loading and remaining elastic curve and shear force diagram will be same. Now that is the sway analysis I am present uh, I have given the notes for that just you go through and I think that I conclude Thank you. Thank you very much. If you have any doubts, as usual, you can contact to my mail ID. Brief That introduction moment distribution method is the iterative method for solving indeterminate structures. And this can be used for all types of indeterminate beams and rigid frames. It is also called relaxation method. Compared to slope deflection method, this method will be easier because it does not involve any or solving of 
many simultaneous equation and this is the common method which will be used by engineers that is the history coming to the introduction we have mainly here four steps calculating the fixed end moments calculation of stiffness calculation of distribution factor and the moment distribution table that is by balancing and carry over now some of the assumptions which are made and the same convention and some of the definition flexural rigidity constant strength and sway what we have discussed what are all the condition and which portal frame will go for lateral bending that is sway then advantages of fixed end support in the first step we have to calculate fixed end moments therefore you should know the formula for fixed end moments for different loadings like central point load and eccentric point load udl and for uvl and in different types of uvl and if external moment is acting and if there is a settlement in continuous beams this end moments will be due to settlement also that will be given by 6ei delta by l square and for the calculation of the stiff, uh, stiffness it will be 3ei by delta especially in the continuous beams for intermediate members it is 4ei by delta if the edge end is fixed 4ei by ei by l if edge support is hinged or roller then it is 3ai by l as usual e engs modulus etc now this distribution factor is calculated using stiffness of that particular member divided by sum of the stiffnesses of all the members meeting at that point using this formula and some of the examples for the calculation of distribution factor and lastly if end supports are hinged or roller or simple or carry over uh, overhanging then modifying the moment is very important because we calculate at c due to this suppose minus 60 because of the overhanging by assuming bc as a fixed if we calculate 51.3 there is unbalanced moment here that is 8.7 minus 8.7 is the unbalanced that should be balanced by adding with opposite magnitude and that should be carried over to the other adjacent end by 50% and modified fixed end moment should be calculated now carry overing based on the distribution factor etc is as per that procedure and we have seen a simple continuous beam and calculation of distribution factor modification and moment distribution table bend moment diagram and uh, shear force diagram and elastic curve and for shear force diagram calculation our uh, reactions are required reactions are calculated because of the loading and because of the moment and these are some calculation and another simple beam is taken into taken to analyze distribution factor after the fems and moment distribution table and after calculating the reactions shear force diagram and shear force bending moment diagram and elastic curve if required this is another long beam wherein all the distribution factors are sorry stiffness factors are 4 ei by l because if you consider this a is fixed d is fixed and all these are intermediate joint it is given now this distribution factor then moment distribution table and calculation of the reactions due to external loading and due to end moments 
and drawing bending moment diagram and shear force diagram. This is another beam, both similar to the previous problem, only changes loading by assuming fixed end moments. This stiffness factor and distribution factor. Then this moment distribution table I explained. And drawing the bending moment diagram. This is another beam wherein left end is hinged, right end is overhanging, wherein here it is modification of end moment is required because by assuming A as fixed, we calculate fixed end moment, but actually your end moment is zero, therefore it should be balanced and it should be carried over to this by 50%. Then here, 10 into 1 is the overhanging moment and this is calculated by considering this as fixed end moment. There will be unbalanced moment that should be carried over to this end. And FEMs, And this is a problem wherein moment of inertia are different for different portions and that is incorporated here in the calculation of stiffness and total stiffness at that joint and distribution factor. And finally, moment distribution table that is after carrying out this to ear, ear and initial moments are modified moments. Finally, end moments. And due to end moments and due to loading, reactions are calculated using this shear force diagram and bending moment diagrams are drawn. This is another problem that we had due to, we have analyzed due to this sinking. That means if you assume that fixed beams for the calculation of FEM, B is, B sinks by 10 millimeter it is given. Therefore, if you are calculating FEM, that FEM is due to load and due to sinking, that is 6 EI by delta. Similarly, B sinks means there will be effect on this portion also BC and for BC also that FEM due to loading and FEM due to sinking should be considered with proper same convention. Now, for member C and D, for CD, it will not be affected because C and D are at same level. Here, if you take BC, B is B sinks, therefore B and C are at not, not level, not at same level. This is down compared to C, therefore it is positive. Here, AB, B is down compared to A, therefore it is negative FEM due to settlement. That should be considered properly and this distribution factor and remaining this moment distribution table is same by balancing and carrying over and BMD and coming to the frames, sway frames and non-sway frames. Non-sway frames we have analyzed, the same procedure will be same and this modifying moment distribution table, drawing the diagrams, SFD and BMD, it is same thing. Now, proper using appropriate I, we should calculate the stiffness and then total stiffness at a joint and distribution factor. Now, this moment distribution table and calculation of the reaction and combined brandy moment diagram that is superimposing the bending moment diagram due to end moments over the bending moment diagram of loading due to loading and then shear force diagram. And this is another frame. This is also a non sway frame. And same procedure calculating FEMs and distribution factors and moment distribution table diagrams. And this is another problem with overhanging portion. This is also non sway frame because of fixity here. Even though it is unsymmetrical in the geometry, this fixed end will not permit the beam or the frame to bend laterally to the right side. Now fixed end moments and this using proper moment of inertia, the distribution factors are calculated and this moment distribution table and loadings and the shear force diagram. For vertical members, if you draw shear force diagram, 
it is also called transfer shear force diagram and that is the ending and thank you once again and i wish all the best in your coming examination as you are aware the examinations are offline mode prepare well go to the examination and do it wish you all the best once again i thank all the officials involved are connected with this e shikshana for giving me an opportunity in particular the coordinator of civil engineering dr c ramakrishna yoda for considering me to present online classes on moment distribution method in the subject structural analysis of fifth semester students thank you thank you one and all